Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon brackish tank and right now I'm treating it for the red slime cyanobacteria. Uh, I love the way the two mollies have sort of gotten in the thin spot in the bubbles almost like they're trying to do some sort of coy display behind the curtain of bubbles or something. They were out in the open just a minute ago and then I don't know where Butterbean is. I suspect he's hiding in his cave down in the center but we just can't see him behind the curtain of bubbles either. At any rate, this video is not going to be about Butterbean. This video is going to be about the tank itself and my treatment. If you look down there on the bottom, you see those patches of sort of purplish color. That is the red slime cyanobacteria. You can even see it growing on the rocks a little bit. While I don't mind that look so much, and it's not harmful to the fish or anything. It's just a nasty bacteria and it just grows like mad. It'll start carpeting everything and it stinks. It really, really stinks. Um, if you actually get some of that on your fingers or you try to scoop it up out of there, you will find that it smells like a wet dog wrapped in old newspaper that's been in a storm cellar in the dark for a few months. It really stinks. The word musty doesn't do it justice. Trust me, it's not something you want to have in your fish tank. So I tried using my gravel vac. You can see some of those brighter spots where the gravel looks like it's been kind of cleaned. That's where I sucked up as many of the sort of clumps and sheets of the cyanobacteria that were there at the time without, you know, sucking a bunch of gravel out of the tank. But I knew that wasn't going to do it because, you know, it's it's in the tank. So you can see it's already started to grow in new sheets. It's growing on the glass down there. And before it gets out of control in this tank, which it inevitably will if I don't, you know, treat it. Uh, I've been dealing with this in these brackish tanks for years and years. Every time I've got uh, a brackish environment, which is, you know, all the time. Every time I set up a new tank or anything eventually I get this red cyanobacteria in there and I know in treating it now I'm not going to eliminate it forever it will eliminate it now it'll beat it back to the point where it's not in the tank anymore but just as it got in the tank in the first place it'll get back in the tank so there's a difference between you know it didn't fight it off completely and I sort of kept it at bay and then it sort of started growing back that's the way when I used to fight the green slime uh, in my freshwater tanks I would use a different product and that was always the result I got I sort of beat it back I kept it at bay and the moment the treatment stopped it would just start growing back and it was only a matter of time before I would do another treatment I just saw it as a part of a the cycle of, of maintaining those tanks and then somebody suggested that I try the ChemiClean, which is this stuff. And even though it's typically marketed for and sold for uh, salt or brackish environments, I was suggested to use it in my freshwater aquarium for the green slime. And boy, did it do a number on it. It was the best treatment I've ever done on the tank. It fully beat all of the stuff back and killed it off. It was months and months before it ever started coming back. And just like in this tank, it didn't start coming back all over the place like it was just growing back. This is just, you know, this has gotten into the tank recently and it's just beginning to develop in spots here. So after I do this treatment, I will have killed this off and it'll be dead. And it should be months and months before we worry about it coming back again but it will come back again it's you know it's like having algae in your tank just because you cleaned all the algae out of your tank doesn't mean your tank is algae free from now on and forever <laughs> you know if the algae got in the tank at some point no matter how thoroughly you've cleaned it out algae is going to get back in there and this cyanobacteria is probably more prolific even than algae so if I've got an environment that's suitable for this stuff to survive and thrive even, it's going to. So that ChemiClean treatment, however, will kill it off. That's in, you know, what's in there now is going to be dead within a few days, hopefully. Now again, we'll see. I, don't, I can't predict the future, but I've had really, really good success with this stuff in the past, and I have no reason to doubt that it's going to work again this time. So 
I will put a link down below in the description if you're interested in buying that. You just click on that link, go to Amazon. Uh, if you do buy it and you buy it through that link, I actually get a little tiny piece of that action from Amazon. So do me a favor. If you're going to buy it, buy it through that link. Uh, again, that'll throw a few pennies my way, and every little bit helps. So I hope that was helpful. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't uh, miss you know, all the follow-up videos, and we're going to go ahead and follow the progress with this tank and find out if this stuff really works the way I'm claiming it does, and so far it always has. So as I said, I don't really see any reason to suspect it won't now. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of those updates or anything else. Don't forget this one is my brackish tank. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was helpful to somebody, and I will see you real soon on the next one.